Hi, I'm Chris and we are JCD. In this week's episode, we're at a school that could potentially become our biggest ever customer. We shoot a podcast at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium of all places and the Greywater team shut down Tower Bridge. Let's roll the footage. Yes team, JCD, welcome back to another episode of We Are JCD. We're back on track, we're back on schedule. It's been a rough couple of weeks to be honest, as you guys know, but we're back to full schedule now and back doing what we need to be doing. Today is Monday, I am down at one of our contracts all day. Sharon is spending the day with Gary. Obviously he needs to get around all of our contracts, see the cleaning staff, meet the customers, and that needs Sharon to facilitate that because she was previously looking after the operation and all the team. So she's going around doing introductions. So as a result, Sharon usually comes down one of our contracts in Folkestone, but instead I have come down here today, but it's an ideal opportunity for me to catch up on some paperwork and some catch up on some much needed phone calls that I need to make. So I've just got here, I've got a coffee, I'm gonna head inside, catch up with my stuff that I need to do, and then I will catch up with you guys for a little bit of an update in a short while. See you in a minute. Yes team, it is around one o'clock. I have been at this particular contract, just gone for a really busy period um, where they've had some coaches come in. Um, got some extra staff on today. I've just been sitting down here on my laptop doing some risk and method statements for some drainage jobs we've got coming up and some other bits and pieces. I'm pleased to say last week that we have finally interviewed everybody for the administrator role and we believe we have got a new candidate. So I'm gonna to speak to them tomorrow about getting a start ASAP, which is good. That's really gonna help with things at the moment because we're a little bit behind with all that, but I'm sure they'll catch up pretty quick. It's not that drastically far behind. Um, so yeah, just sitting down here though, an interesting observation. We've just had a load of coaches come in. Right, I, where I am sat, I'm gonna spin you guys around. This is a bin, okay? Here, on that table, you can see all that food that was left, right? Four, you know, early 30s guys, they've gone in the uh, arcade there and they have left that table full of KFC. The bin is literally here. It's a real bugbear of mine. I posted about this on LinkedIn before. If you do that, if you do that type of shit, you are never gonna get anywhere in life because it just shows me you're lazy, you don't respect your environment, you don't respect other people, you don't respect yourself, um, you've got a fuck you attitude, which is never gonna get you anywhere, and you're just, you're not gonna get it, you're, you are never ever gonna be successful with that, or get through life, or do well with that attitude. That just shows me everything I need to know about a person. If I have a coffee with someone, and they leave their shit everywhere like that, tells me everything that I need to know about that person. Just terrible, and actually, just as that happened, the guy that's sitting next to me over there, he's had something to eat and he was sensible enough to actually take his rubbish, I don't know if he heard me, and put it in the bin. That is just loser shit, loser mentality. Real bugbear of mine, people go, oh well, someone else is paid to do it. And it's not the point, it's just about your own personal standards. They've left rubbish all over the floor, loser, screams loser. Anyway. Plenty more going on today. I will catch up with you guys this afternoon. I'll give you a little bit of an outro, but we have got plenty of other stuff going on this week, including a trip to one of the UK's biggest sporting venues for a podcast. I'll catch you guys in a little bit for another catch up. And just like that, it's three o'clock. Don't go so quick sometimes. It's a nice productive day down at our contracts, nice to just sit here sometimes, have my headphones on as you can see, just listening to podcasts and getting done what I needed to get done. Tomorrow, I've got a meeting in the morning with an associate, and then after that, I've got a tender walk around. 
Now this tender walk round come organically last week. Spoke to a guy, new contract. I'm not gonna give away too much details because it is early days. But all I'm gonna say is there's gonna be a tender process to this contract as there are with all big ones. But if we get this contract, it will be JCD's biggest ever. Even bigger than our one last year. And that will just be on this site alone. This site has 20 others. Now, I'm not saying we're gonna get the other 20, but it's a start in a relationship. That's all it takes is a start in a relationship. So got that tomorrow, which I'm really looking forward to. That should be good. I'm really looking forward to that. I will try and film a little bit of it, but it's one of those things where we wanna get good content out, but during that particular time, I need to focus on the customer, what's going on, what should and shouldn't be done. So I'm not sure how much of that I'll film, but I will try and give you guys a little glimpse into how that goes. So I'm not doing much the rest of the day. As you guys know, I've had a tough couple of weeks, to be honest. I felt the pinch, I shoulder stress well, but I'm gonna have a bit of a relaxing week in terms of the evenings. I'm not gonna be doing much in, try not to do too much in the evenings. I say that now, then I'll get home and I'll be doing stuff, but I'm certainly not gonna do nothing today because it's been a busy couple of weeks and I've been feeling it, which we're only human, right? So good day all in all, productive, got lots of risk and effort statements done, everything I needed to. So that wraps up Monday and I will see you, the team, tomorrow. Enjoy. Yes, guys, Tuesday. We are in North London today. We have a very large tender walk round. We had a school contact us or a group of schools contact us a couple of weeks ago now they are unhappy with their provider and they are going to market with some of their services now it's not uncommon we get um, requests like this so nothing out of the blue got the information over and it is actually a substantially large school which is good there are some other schools within this portfolio as well but this tender is just for this school but as anyone in business knows it's all about relationships so once you actually get into one that's where you do a good job. You make sure you've got a thriving relationship with the customer and all key aspects of the contract with a view that you're gonna get the others. And that is the game plan here. So I've just got here at the moment. I will try and film some footage on the way round, but as I say, I don't wanna do that where it makes everyone uncomfortable, where it just looks off. So if it's not right, I won't, but fingers crossed, I will try and get some for you. That's all I've got on the rest of the day. I had a meeting this morning with a um, colleague, just a general catch up of someone that I've met on a, um, on a, on a once a golf show. Um, and I just wanted to meet him face to face because he seemed like a real good guy and he is a really good guy. So I was pleased that that happened today. Um, so yeah, so I'm just gonna find somewhere to park and then we are gonna go and have a look around at this school. Let's go. Uh, when it comes to the floor down there, half past five it took me nearly three hours to get back from London town but obviously a productive use of time I just pulled up at Guilfoyle HQ good walk round me and Gary spent some time with the three managers of this particular Skype two procurement leads one was a site manager an interesting contract obviously there's going to be a tender process we've got to go through we're going to have to do a tender return document and then we will probably have to do a presentation which I haven't done in some time but do not fear I do not have a fear of talking in front of people, as you guys know. I love the sound of my own voice, after all. So yeah, that should be an interesting one. Lovely school, lovely contract to have. So fingers crossed, me and Gary are going to get together Friday morning, and we're going to have a look at how we go around tendering, what we're going to put in the bid, what we're going to not. In other good news, two things. The van, the grey water drainage van. The bane of our life at the moment. I have had our new mobile mechanic have a look at it. He reckons he has found the issue. He reckons it's something to do with the turbo because he test drove it and found the issue uh, that it actually, which is un which is super handy because the van, when you drive it, it goes limp sometimes. It goes into like limp mode. And then whenever I've had that before and I've had someone test drive, it never happens, which is always the way, isn't it? But apparently he drove it today and it went into limp mode while he was driving. Now he thinks it's something to do with the turbo. So 
we could have a situation where Peugeot, because I'm going to name them because they're useless, I would urge anyone not to buy a Peugeot van. Go with someone else, not a Citroen, because I believe they're the same motors, basically. Do not buy a Peugeot because they're useless. They had a van eight months. They said it needed a new engine. They put in. Now, apparently, this guy says, no, it's not the engine. And I believe they didn't replace the turbo. They reckon it's something to do with, with that. So let's see. Let's see what this guy can do. But for the time being, I'm keeping it off the road because I do not want the van to blow up again because I do not want to have to buy another one because we have just finished paying that one off. So we own it, firstly. And two, in other good news, we have successfully secured a new tanker for our new contracts that we need to do. And it's ironic, really, because now that I've had the tanker, I've been pushing out a few bits of work and we've managed to actually get free no free new contract for regular work for this tanker which is good news so it's all worked out okay so it's been a good day in paradise i would say so yeah tomorrow we have an awesome day we're going to do a separate video we're going to do a day in the life of a podcast host i believe i don't know how adam's going to frame it but that's what he's paid to do um so i'm sure he will we're going to do a complete day in the life of a podcast host we are at the tottenham hotspur stadium tomorrow where we are interviewing one of the big ceos of carlisle support services paul evans now i'm a big fan of his stuff that he puts on he looks like he's big into company culture and it's an iconic venue that i haven't been to yet so tomorrow is going to be a super interesting day in terms of this week's release we have francesca brownless her podcast is going out tomorrow she is the queen of post-construction cleaning i believe she's doing some stuff she's doing an academy now for people that want to get in that field and it is a very interesting field risky field but if you play your cards right and you've got all the processes in place like anything it's appropriately managed it's a nice field to be in. So, um, yeah, make sure you guys keep an eye out for that, but I'll mention that tomorrow. So I'm going to go in, crack on with what I've got to do. I've got a few bits and pieces to do, tie up loose ends, as I've been around, uh, haven't been around most of the day. And then tomorrow, I'll see you in the morning, where Adam will be joining us for a day of travel to Tottenham Hotspurs. See you in the morning. Wednesday. Spoke to you guys yesterday and told you we had a big podcast today we're going to be doing a standalone video a day in the life of a podcast host although a relatively new one still we are meeting with paul evans the ceo of Carlisle support services a bit of a mouthful on a wednesday morning one of the big players in the industry and we are going to the newly built and iconic tottenham hotspur stadium so paul definitely wins a trophy for the best venue so far so adam's just joined me we've packed up the podcast stuff and we're going to make the journey up to north london now and go and see Paul and put this podcast episode down. Once we've done that today, that's going to take up most of my day. I am actually working this evening. We have a big job on Tower Bridge and we also have a descale that we're starting. So I'm going to go out and see the lads when I get back. So it's going to be a long day. So let's get it started. Let's go. So we are taking the surprisingly short journey to Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. For some reason, I had it in my head that this was going to take us a couple of hours, but it was only about a 55 minute drive, to be fair. We're about 20 minutes away. We're going to get there a little bit early um, in the hope that we can set up and then maybe have a little tour if we're lucky, because obviously the stadium is new. I've heard very, very good things about it. Um, it's meant to be fantastic. So fingers crossed we've had to get a little bit of a tour before we start. Our podcast is at one. Hopefully we'll be there just after 11. Um, but yeah, if we have a tour, obviously we'll take you guys with us. So we have just arrived at the short drive and we are now at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium that you can see behind me. We're not going to give away too much footage today, unfortunately for you guys that follow along. Instead, if you want to see what happens at today's visit, then you guys need to head over to our podcast channel. You should all be heading over there and subscribing anyway. It's going real good pace. We're getting a real good subscriber base over there. But we're going to do a day in the life of a podcast host over on that channel. So if you haven't already checked it out, go over to the Cleaning Up Business podcast search that on youtube and on all your social platforms and go and follow along 
there will be a standalone video specifically to what we get up to at Tottenham Hotspur. Sure, we're gonna show you a little bit of that today, but we've just arrived. We're gonna, we've just let our contact know that we're here. So we're gonna take a short drive around to the parking and then we've got to unload all the stuff and put it in the meeting room. I think, if I'm not mistaken, our podcast will be host in a box today overlooking the pitch. So it should be some nice framing for our podcast. Paul definitely winning the best venue award so far. So we're gonna go and park, get our stuff out, and then we'll get going and see if we can nick a little tour while we're here. Bedfordshire, so oh, okay. Free bar as well, looking after us. <laughs> Put a phone. Mm. Are you filming? Yes. Right, just be careful. Some time later. So we are back in the car. The podcast stuff is safely in the car. I had a chat with Paul after, and we always ask our guests if they've got any recommendations. And it just so happened that there was the CEO of one of the big cleaning companies in the UK in the building as well. And Paul was kind enough to do an introduction for us, so we went and said hello to this particular CEO. I won't mention who they are, because hopefully they will be on the podcast channel. So it was an interesting chat. Real big fan of what Paul does, real down-to-earth guy. And for me, podcasts are all about the connections that we make. I've made some fantastic ones with people on the podcast so far, and hopefully I can do so with Paul moving forward, because he is a guy that has got lots of connections he's got lots of experience and it's always good to align yourself with people on a similar goal to you now we're going to head back down to sunny kent i have got to go to work tonight oh, i still can't believe it but we've got to do what we've got to do so i'm going to go back i'm going to get changed and i'm going to go and meet mitchell and john on a descale job that we've got in the city so from tottenham hotspurs to descaling in the city but needs must so let's get back down to kent Get our oranges on and go and join the drainage lads. So the descale did not go as quickly as I would have liked, but as we always say, we take the rough with the smooth. It is now around 11.30. I am on Tower Bridge. I don't know if you can see that behind me. Boys are out cleaning some gullies on Tower Bridge. So what they're doing, they're removing the barriers here that stop anyone driving on the path because we'll see in the UK, we've had some unfortunate terror attacks where people have drove along the right on the path, running people over, which is not productive, of course. Um, so what they're doing, they're moving them, they're sweeping down the road, and then what we're gonna do, we're clearing out all the gully pots that are near or underneath these barriers. So um, I just thought I'd quickly pop my head in as I was up here to see how the lads are getting on. They're smashing it out. It's only one night's work, one night's shift. The bridge is closed for our general maintenance. So yeah, it's all going to plan. So let's roll a little bit more B-roll. So the boys are doing a good job here. They are nearly finished. It hasn't taken them the whole shift. They've managed to get through it and get, I think around 15 row gullies cleared, ready for the morning, good piece of work. Tomorrow I'm at the office in the morning and in the evening I am back in London. So that wraps up a long day, but I'll see you guys for Thursday in the morning. Yes team, it's Thursday. A bit of a sore throat today, to be honest. It's late, 1.30 a.m. I've just come back down to the office to drop the machine off. Me, Mitchell, a bit in London doing a descale using our new Pacote machine, which we got from CJ Kelly. 
Adam put some pictures here, showed the scale we were taking off. It's a good machine, to be fair. Pleased to got it. So if you need any descaling in Kent, London or the South East, you know how to hit us up. We had also a couple of drainage jobs to do. Unfortunately, the weather is bad in London and there was a yellow weather warning. I was going to film the descale, but to be honest with you, I had a meeting with a customer this afternoon. Um, it wasn't a productive meeting. Well, it was a productive meeting. It wasn't a good meeting in terms of the outcomes. They want to temporarily, temporarily, hopefully at the moment, reduce their cleaning hours. It's quite a big contract. Um, so there's quite a big reduction there. I don't know what it looks like yet. I don't know what that looks like in terms of cost. But yeah, that's going to be uh, that's going to be one to watch. So um, I had that news this afternoon, and then to be honest with you, I was running a little bit late, and obviously the, that news and me giving some thoughts of the commercial aspect of that, I didn't really get around to filming, to be honest. Um, and then I got to site, done what we had to do. Um, that was a little bit you know more technical than I imagined. So yeah, it's been a bit of a rough day to be honest, and a bit of a late one. We've also done some other bits and pieces while we were out, some work we needed to get done. So it's a late day and I have got to be up at 5.30. I've got to be on site at 5.30. So three and a half hours sleep. And then I've got to go and see this particular site and tell the cleaning staff that the customer wants to reduce the hours because I want to tell them before they hear it from the rumour mill um, because I think they're going to be, uh, no doubt this particular site, they will hear it from someone else first. So um, I want to get there and beat them all to it. So yeah, rough day to be honest. I think I mentioned in my video, you know, in the last couple of videos, a bit of rough, well not rough, you know, there's plenty going on. Uh, super busy, lots of change, lots of st other stuff going on in the background. And then you're trying to navigate what is a difficult world at the moment. It's, um, yeah, it's, it's uh, stressful. It's probably the easiest word to put it, but it all comes right in the end. So yeah, that's what's going on today. Hope you guys have had a better day than I have. It was a better, better couple of weeks, to be honest. Been, been, in a, been a bit of a tough couple of weeks. But in other news, tomorrow, I'm going to get up early, go and see the team, and then I am going to be down at JCD HQ. Oh, God. We've got um, our new admin lady coming to see us tomorrow, just about starting, um, which will be good. And then I've got a meeting with Adam, and then I'm going to be calling it a day for the weekend. And to be honest with you, I can't wait. So, that wraps up Thursday, guys. I'll see you guys in a couple of hours. We made it. Looking forward to getting some sleep over the weekend. It is now Friday. I've been with the team this morning, told them um, the news that we got yesterday, this particular contract. I told you this, this particular site happens on big sites. They was already sort of aware of it, which is um, not ideal, but I knew that could be an issue. So um, yeah, I had a chat with the guys, just reinforced, look, we keep doing what we are doing. It's not a time to go, oh, well, you know, I won't take as much interest or whatever. We keep doing what we're doing, keep providing the good service that we would provide on this site. So yeah, had a chat with the guys and um, yeah, they digested it well. I say I thought they, they, they sort of understood it. It's quite a big team on this site. So um, so yeah, I'll uh, keep you guys updated on that particular contract. I am at the HQ all this morning. I've seen Gary this morning already. Uh, he, him and Sharon is with me. Gary's gone to look at contracts. I've come to the office. It is now 6.30 a.m. So I'm over here. We have got Lindsay, our new office administrator, coming in to see us at 10 o'clock. Spend a bit of time with her, understand logistics and get a firmed up start date for her next week some point and then i am going to meet adam um this afternoon to discuss our content and what that looks like moving forward to say it's been difficult filming the last couple of weeks the last two three weeks has probably been a bit of an understatement just because generally we're pretty busy i actually see a post from someone i follow on the on linkedin who has a marketing agency and that he said he hasn't done any content because he's so busy you know and i say i've mentioned it on the channel all the time this is quite time consuming to do you know you've got to remember to get your camera out do your bit some weeks you, you don't feel like doing it but you know, you've got to do what you've got to do on those days and we keep trying to put the content out, but we're going to have a little shift round of how we do things. The podcast is going full steam ahead. That is really kicking off, which is good. We've got some good guests coming up. So, uh, oh, I'm really sorry, guys. So, yeah, you know, we're going to have a little strategize of what that looks like moving forward. We're going to continue doing it. I'm invested in it. 
long term um, and we're starting to see the benefits of it and we uh, we don't quit carry on doing the content but we're just going to see what other types of videos we can do and what other format we can do so if you guys have got any ideas and put them down in the comments below and let us know what you'd like to see obviously if you've been following along on our social channels you would have seen some of the videos we've done you know the series like bleach it you know uh, debunking myths new kit destroying henry that was one of our most popular videos obviously um and then we've obviously doing the weekly stuff so um if you guys have got any ideas or what you would like us to do apart from quit don't want any smart smart people telling me i'll give up <laughs> um or don't bother put it down in the comments below and let me know so i'm going to crack on with some work i've got my coffee i've got my laptop i've got a screen here it don't work we're going to have a change around in the office eventually so let's go What is happening team? We are now Friday evening. As you can see, this is how rock and roll my Fridays are. I'm sitting in snug at home. This afternoon, I went over and met Adam. Now, I'll be honest with you guys, as I put out in our video last week, the last few weeks, well, I'd say the last month really, has been a little bit difficult from a personal perspective. I've been super busy, super stressed, probably overstressed if I'm being honest. And whilst I have been doing what I need to do, it's probably not been the best quality from a content perspective. And look, I know when things are going as they should be. I know when things are not. I know when people are at capacity. I know when they're not without even people telling me. I know what's going on. So I had a quick catch up with Adam and we were just like, look, we're putting out content, but what is the idea of that content? What was we originally trying to do with it? And we're just going to try and get back over to where we should be with that. What is the idea of that? Whilst it is a personal vlog for me, because we debated whether we change the channel name and do it directly about me, because it's crossing both businesses, because my time has been more weighted towards grey water the past month because of new um, customers we've been taking on. You guys are here to see the journey of me, hopefully, and both businesses, but the channel is a JCD channel. We s discussed about splitting it out, but that's not practical. Trying to do this for two channels, it's hard enough doing it for the one, so that's certainly not gonna be something we're looking at. But we certainly want to get back to more JCD stuff. So what does that mean? So that means Adam being out on site more with the teams. And Gary's going to take him around. James is going to take him around. I'm going to actually show you what we guys do. Because the perception of it is, if we look at the optics of it, I want to show all of our fans and everyone that listens and people that are just potentially checking out our content that could be potential customers, who are JCD, what do we stand for, and what are we capable of delivering? We are a business that does seven, seven figures in revenue. We have hundreds of staff, which you've not seen any of. And the optics of it, if you were looking at this from the outside, you would think that I am a one-man band and that all I do is I'm out and around on the tools. And that is not the case. I am in meetings with big CEOs. I'm dealing with very senior people. I'm also out with the team on the tools. I do a bit of everything. And I think you guys need to see a little more of actually what goes out on site and what the JCD team are doing. And there's a little educational piece for the team out there and getting them a little bit comfortable, but we're certainly gonna be starting that soon, very soon. Some more steals, more footage of what goes out on the jobs. I mean, the guys tonight, they are at a large bakery clean that we started last week. I filmed that in one of our episodes a few weeks back. Fantastic clean, you know, we should be showing that. The problem with it is, at the moment, it's so reliant on me being there to get Adam there or to arrange it logistically and other bits and pieces that it's just not happening. But obviously we've got me, Gary, James, we're all gonna be involved in that moving forward. So we're gonna show you more literal behind the scenes of what goes on at JCD. Been an interesting episode this week, a long week. I've had some long days this week, to be honest. I am looking forward for a little bit of a lay-in. I have, however, Got to be at work tomorrow. Me and Mitchell are going out to do a few jobs that we didn't manage to tie up this week. Sunday is a rest, and then Monday is the start of a new We Are JCD, and we have got lots of incoming footage. We've got a refurbishment project going on that I'm gonna share with you guys. Again, stuff you've probably never seen. We've got plenty of other jobs going on in the week. We've got a project in a very local but iconic amusement park, which you guys are gonna see. So we're gonna get you out and about and make sure we show you what we're doing so can't wait for next week it's going to be the start of a new era as me and adam discussed this morning so that wraps up another episode of we are jcd make sure you hit that like and subscribe follow us on instagram tiktok me on linkedin and everywhere else in between 
make sure you like, subscribe, follow along. Don't forget to head over to the Cleaning Up Business podcast if you want to hear me talking with some other people about business. That's going all guns blazing at the moment, and we've done a fantastic episode this week, as you've seen, at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. So make sure you go and check out that. So that wraps up this week, guys. Have a good weekend. Enjoy, relax, and be prepared for We Are JCD 2.0. Peace.